Good afternoon guys, this is your Sir DRV again and welcome back to our Mythic Heroes channel. Alright, so for today we will going to review another hero and this hero was recently buff actually and uh, I've been hearing a lot from you guys on Discord and on my Facebook page uh, that uh, this hero is not receiving um, much love than he is actually supposed to be and um there's there was one tier list i, I saw uh from the facebook page and it shows that this hero is actually at the bottom of the tier list well there is some good points on that tier list but uh, not 100 percent accurate because what i'm talking right now is none other than lubu all right, so Lu Bu, just looking at his spear, this is actually um, an upgraded or um, awakened hero or awakened uh, spear already. That's the reason why it has those fires at the end or at the tip. All right, so why is uh, Lu Bu on the last on the tier list? I'd say Lubu is actually one of those heroes that has its own um, strength and I can say that this is actually not, it should not be on the bottom of the tier list. Alright, so um, I will give my own opinion on this Lubu and let me know in the comments below if you, add, if you want to add something about it, alright? So... The main thing I can say with Lubu is actually he is uh, one of those heroes that has a uh, good uh, self-sustaining in terms of uh, defense and lifesteal. Uh, the lower his health, the better his uh, defense in terms of physical defense and lifesteal. So he's actually one of those heroes that can do 1v5. Actually, Lubu can um, defeat Susano, Tamamo, or or anyone in a one v one battle. That is because of his ultimate, and uh, he is actually immune to control. All right, so let's check out his skills. So his ultimate, Lubu charges to the target and knocks them into the air. Then continues to strike, dealing 12 times 55% damage. Wow, this is actually uh, one of those um, uh, highest DPS or higher DPS in terms of um, a one-time skill. So Lubu has this um, higher DPS than uh, compared to other hero. Um, in fact, his ultimate actually can rival Artemis ultimate. So most of you guys doesn't know that but yeah it it can actually rival uh, artemis ultimate all right so that's 12 times 55 percent as you can see um lubu dances his uh, spear and uh sp spin the spear it actually deals 12 times 55 percent damage okay all right so at level two deals 60 percent level three deals 65 percent level four deals 70 percent so this is not just a one-time damage this is a, a continuous 12 times damage if you uh, will notice if you have lubu as your main it will show you a, a bunch of uh, strings of damage up to 12 times okay all right next will be the force of tiger after two auto attacks lubu strikes the enemy with consecutive hits dealing three times 60 percent damage the fourth hit hit deals 150 percent damage all right this is actually uh, one of those uh, passive um which deals a good amount of damage at level two the last hit is treated as true damage uh this true damage ignores defense okay at level three lubu is immune to control during this time so one of his um control immune uh, skills and lastly level four the last strike deals 175 percent damage all right so this is passive not uh, an active skill so 
uh, if you have a good amount of attack speed to Lubu, then uh, this will be an insane damage to bosses as well. All right, so next passive is the Unbent Heart. When Lubu loses a certain amount of health, he gains a buff of physical resistance up to 50% and life steal up to 50%. This is the reason why um, Susano can never defeat Lubu in a one-on-one -on -one dam uh, one -on -one, uh, fight. <laughs> All right, if they have the same level, same um, divinity enhancement, Susano is definitely not a match for Lubu. Um, if you can remember, for those oh, for those of you guys who have um, battled Lubu in the Div Divinity uh, or in the Divine Chronicles, uh, you will remember that <laughs> Lubu is actually a pain um, to battle with, right? <laughs> that is one of uh, hell. Um, I can I can still remember I was stuck there for the longest time, fighting Lubu. All right. Neck, um, at level 2, it gains a maximum of 60% lifesteal. Level 3 gains a maximum of 60% physical resistance. At level 4, it gains a maximum of 65% lifesteal. So, good self-sustain in the battle. Can easily 1v5 enemy. The only problem is, early game, you won't expect much from Lubu. But mid-game to end-game, Lubu will shine, okay? So if you like Lubu, I suggest build him. You won't regret it in the end game, okay? In the long run. Next, Half Moon Slash. Lubu strikes with his Albert, dealing two times 200% damage to enemies in front of him. So this is one of his active skill, the only active skill that he have. So it's two times 200% damage to enemies in front of him. At level 2, deals 225% damage. Level 3, deals 250% damage. At level 4, this attack, attack cannot be dodged. Alright? So, yeah. Um, this, his active skill is uh, one hell of a uh, skill. 2 times 200% damage is a lot of damage. Um, if you combine it with the Force of the Tiger, then... Yeah, Lubu is one of those uh, best DPS. Um, to tell you honestly, um, Lubu is definitely one of those um, carries that can carry you 1v5 in the campaign. Uh, in mid game and end game, okay? Just put your trust to Lubu and he will carry you onto the campaign. <clears throat> All right, so let's check his weapon upgrade. All right, what are his weapons or weapon upgrade? At 100, if an enemy dies within 5 seconds after being hit by Lubu, increase Lubu's attack speed by 50% for 5 seconds, which means Lubu can proc his passive skill more often. So yeah, more attack speed for Lubu, more damage. At level 200, if Half Moon, half moon Slash only hits one enemy, Offenant takes 50% extra damage for the next 8 seconds. So th this is the reason why um, Susano can never win a 1v1 battle. In fact, most of the heroes in Mythic Heroes cannot beat Lubu on a one on one battle. If we are talking about max stat, max everything, okay? At level 300, if Half Moon Slash only hits 2 enemies, Opponents take 30% extra damage for the ne next 8 seconds. And lastly, which is one of the best um, 400 skill or 400 weapon in the game, which is when Lubu's health is below 50%, he is immune to control. So, as you can remember, there is a passive for Lubu that when his health is only at 50%, his lifesteal and the defense will increase significantly. If you add this um, immune to control, then that's the reason why Lubu can 1v5 those enemies in the campaign. And sometimes in the arena as well. Alright, so that's how good this Lubu is. 
I'm not sure why why he is on the bottom of the tier list, but I would say Lubu is very good. If I would be picking Lubu and GM, I would definitely pick Lubu. All right, no questions asked. <laughs> all right, next, his equipment. All right, so his equipment is actually the same as uh, Susano. Um, you can equip uh, Lubu with always fire rune because uh, this is wrong <laughs> i just equip him whatever that's left for for now but the the main equipment for him is the fire rune and the axe of pangu all right so axe of pangu so why axe of pangu because lubu relies heavily on auto attack that's the reason why we need the 25% chance to deal an extra damage, all right? Since Lubu is also great for boss fights, I would say uh, use the stop of Shahur whenever you're doing boss fights because it will boost up your damage as well. So aside from uh, Fire Rune, um, I would say uh, for bosses, you can use the Lightning, okay? So you can use Lightning as well the lightning room or, or thunder room um, because it will ignore seven percent of defense so this is good for boss fights but for campaigns uh, for pvp i would say use the fire rune okay fire rune because uh, you will deal more damage in a short amount of uh, time because of the critical chance being given by the fire rune all right, next will be the Divinity. So for early game, I would suggest you get this um, Primal Totem. You will gain uh, immunity from control skills for 5 seconds. And uh, the reason, well, if you're thinking, Lubu already have control skills on the weapon, right? Yes, but it will be uh, at 400. It will be only be unlocked at 400, so it's better to use the Primal Totem in the early game. Once you've learned or once you've reached 400 in the weapon, then you can ditch out this uh, Primal Totem and you can go, go with Engulf. So at end game, then you need to use the Wrath. So what happens is uh, for every 6 seconds health lost, increase attack by 1%. So Lubu is actually a semi-tank and DPS, so it's okay for him to lose a certain amount of damage. And once he lose a certain amount, oh, sorry, a certain amount of health, once he lose a certain amount of health, his damage and physical resistance will go through the roof. That's the reason why you need this rat, and you can combine this with the death waiver. So rat and death waiver for PVPs and uh, regular arena but if you're going with campaign bosses then go with rat and then engulf and then the culmination so that those are the three skills which is good for boss fights all right so for pvp that waiver and rat for campaigns rat and golf and then the culmination this one all right so those are the divinity skills that you can use for um lubu which is uh, fairly good all right so next we will talk about the teams all right so for um f to p players or free to play players uh, if you're just starting out if you're new to the game then uh, and you want lubu as your main damager um <clears throat> just like what i'm always saying for pre to play player pick one per faction heroes so i would say okay we have already uh, lubu as our guardian then you can select uh susano for luminarch or artemis or zeus whatever you whatever uh, hero you like in the luminarch area um, if you like Susano, then go with Susano. Now, we have two um, physical damager here. So, we need um, a mage. 
So if you want a mage, then go with Izanami. And this will be our um, Shadow Arch Heroes. Now, we need two more, right? So we need uh, one from uh, the, the Virgin, the green. So for the Virgin, since we don't have any healer, you can go with Idun or you can go with Nagakaina. So this can also change. If you don't want Izanami, then you can go with um, Persephone. Persephone. Or you can also go with um, Virgin Mage, which is Flora. All right. So since we have a Virgin Mage, Flora, then you need to have a healer. So healer Shadow Arch will be Hela. Unfortunately, I don't have Hela here. Uh, so sad. I don't have Hela, but you can use Hela as your main healer. And the last one will be your tank. So it can be um, Athena, which will greatly benefit Lubu because Athena, as we all know, have immunity. Um, if she, uh, not immunity, she has a shield, okay? That is uh, good. Also, you can go with another tank. You can go with this one. Typhoon. If you're so much lucky, you got a lot of Typhoon copy, and then you can go with Typhoon. Uh, Typhoon copy. Sorry, <laughs> Typhoon. All right, so what else? What, uh, what are other uh, tank that is uh, that will greatly benefit Lubu? Um, I could say this one, Anubis. Uh, the reason why Anubis is good for Alubu is because of Anubis uh, mummies. It will distract those enemies in front. So Lubu can uh, take advantage of that and kill those enemies while being distracted by the um, mummies. All right, so now you just need to get one healer. Um, it's all it's already it's all right to have two virgin like like this one. You have your mage, you have your healer. Um, it's okay f um, because you already have one unit for faction, so it one double is already good or it's all right. Okay, so this is for um, early game for a free to play player. But for end game, the best <coughs> team for Lubu is this one. All right. Why uh, you you might be asking why uh, two tanks, right? You can change this um, Athena or yeah Athena to where are you? This this one, Joanna Fark. So John of Arc can do um, shield to Lubu. It, you, you can have a clutch game with this one. And you can uh, change this tank or this typhoon to Nua as well. Where are you, Nua? Nua, where's my E? All right, so here it is. So you can take advantage of um, 3 is a 2 faction bonus. You can change Izanami to uh, Flora. So I think this is one of those uh, teams which greatly benefit Lubu because Flora have um, stunts and Naga kind of have stunts. Nuwa has um, uh, one less enemy per battle because of her passive skill which throws the enemy uh, into the air and we have our Joanna Fark to protect Lubu so this is one hell of a team for Lubu all right so that's just an example of the team if you have other team composition you can um, Share it in the comments down below so I can also see that. Thank you very much for that. And uh, 
I think that's it. Let's just check Lubu's um, ultimate before we end the video. Let's see. All right, as you can see, Lubu have splash damage. Do you see that? Let's check again. So those are the splash damage. As you can see, his ultimate is not one single damage, right? You see those strings of numbers? That means those 12 damage is actually being um, thrown uh, one by one, not just a single damage. That's the reason why Lubu has one of those uh, highest uh, DPS into the game. That's the reason why I'm not really that confident on the tier list right now. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you've learned something about Lubu. And uh, for those of you who is um, in doubt using Lubu, I could say that Lubu is great. He's one of those uh, good damage dealers. Can 1v5 enemies like Susano and can defeat Susano in one on one battle. So Lubu is definitely uh, great. So you don't have to... Uh, feel frightened frightened of using him um, Trust Lubu and uh, He will carry you into the game. All right, so thank you very much guys for watching and uh, I will see you on my next video. I love you all. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now